The first sod has been turned on Melbourne's $11 billion metro rail project. But we'll have to be patient. It'll be another decade before the trains start rolling. It's the state's biggest ever public transport project and construction is finally underway. It's a project that creates jobs. It's a project that's going to give us the capacity to run more trains across the metropolitan and the regional network. Workers have begun checking and relocating underground services such as gas and electricity. It's ahead of the major excavation to build the two nine-kilometre tunnels and five new stations beginning next year. With an $11 billion price tag, Malcolm Turnbull is being urged to keep to his funding promises. We're sitting at around 9% of all federal infrastructure funds is what comes to Victoria, well below our population share. If they want extra money from the federal government, needs to include South Yarra Station in the metro project. While today's work is quite minor, the major construction set to begin early next year will see around 800 Olympic-sized swimming pools of soil removed to make way for the tunnels. When the tunnels become operational in 2026, it's expected to take around 18,000 cars off the road during peak hour each day. It's further evidence as to why we just don't have a moment to lose. Tegan Dolling, 7 News.